Let's explain this with the aid of an example. If consumption function is given as follows, consumption equals 50 plus 0 0.9 y and investment is given as 45, what is the equilibrium level of income? First, we know that aggregate spending is equal to consumption spending plus investment spending. But the equilibrium condition is that aggregate spending should be equal to total production. Therefore, we can write y is equal to c plus i. Let's substitute the consumption and the investment functions into this formula. y equals 50 plus 0, 0,9 y plus 45. Let's simplify. First, I'm going to take over the 0, 0,9 y to the other side. So I have y minus 0, 0,9 y equals 50 plus 45 is 95. Simplify to the left of the equation, 0, 0,1 y equals 95. Divide on both sides of the equation by 0, 0,1 gives me y equals 950. And that's how you get the answer. Now you can do it with another method. Let's look at that. First you can say, let's calculate the value of the multiplier. The multiplier we write with a little alpha, the Greek letter alpha. The formula is 1 over 1 minus the marginal propensity to consume. 1 over 1 minus 0, 0,9. If you know your consumption function, you would know that it follows the formula c equals autonomous consumption plus small c times y. So that 0, 0,9 is where I found my uh, marginal propensity to consume. Let's simplify 1 over 0, 0,1 equals 10. Now I calculate my autonomous expenditure equals autonomous consumption plus investment. Again, if I refer to my consumption function, I would know that 50 is the value of my autonomous consumption plus 45 is my investment. This equals 95. Now, last step would be to say that the equilibrium level of income is equal to my multiplier times my autonomous consumption, which is 10 times 95 gives me answer of 950. Can you see I got the same answer here as I got here? This is just different methods to get the same answer. Let's look at another example. The consumption function is given as 870 plus 0, 0.85 y and investment is given as 1500. Now hit pause and do it yourself. Did you get 15,800? If not, let's see how we got it. So we could say spending is equal to consumption plus investment spending. We also know that equilibrium is where aggregate spending equals, is equal to total production. Therefore, y could be equal to c plus i. Now let's substitute the values given. It's y equals 870 plus 0, 0.85 y plus 1500. I'm going to simplify by taking this over the equation. I have y minus 0, 0.85 y it's equal to 870 plus 1,500. Let's simplify further. 0, 0,15y plus 2,370. Divide both sides by 0, 0, 0,15. Gives me y on this side and then 
um, 15,800 on this side. Now let's see how we do it with the other method. First I'm going to calculate the value of my multiplier. So it's alpha equals 1 minus C. I substitute in the value of my module propensity to consume given and the information given. Then I simplify and get a value over here. Okay. Next step is to get my autonomous spending value. That's my cons autonomous consumption plus investment. It's given by 870 plus 1500. It's a total of 2,370. Now the final step is to say my equilibrium level of income would be e equal to the multiplier times my autonomous spending which is 6,667 times 2,370. If I do this on my calculator I get the answer of 15,800. Can you see? It's the same as I got when I used this method.